everyone, welcome. My name is Emily, if you are new. Today I have for you two fun DIYs. These are both awesome decor dupes because they're about one to three dollars to make versus the 10 to 30 dollars they are in the store. And I think you guys are really gonna love them. Mine are a little bit more farmhouse feel, but you can tailor them to whatever your decor option is. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this first one, you're going to want a printout of whatever uh, words that you so choose on a cardstock or regular paper, your choice, a stapler, I suggest a staple gun here, some scissors, and then some twine, any twine will work for you, or wire, and then two pieces of wood. Um, I just have these left over from a project, and um, I made them just a little bit wider than the paper itself, or if you want to do a free version, you can just get um, some paint sticks from Home Depot or something. And I just start by sanding down my pieces of wood um, just to open up the grain, make sure everything's nice and smooth, wipe them down, and then I'm using Jacobson to stain them, but you can paint these if you want to. It's completely up to you what you want to do or just leave it bare wood. Really simple and make sure you get all the edges. Go ahead and take your paper and flip it over if you and line it up where you want it and go ahead and take your staple gun and put a staple in each corner. You can also um, apply the twine before you do this, it's completely up to you. Um, mine had a little bit of a gap underneath so I just went ahead and cut the twine to the length that I wanted it and then just um, put a slide it underneath and then hammered it down and this is how it came out. It's really nice because you can change this up all year round if you want to but I just love the way it looks. I did use Magnolia Sky as the font in case you are wondering, but make sure you print it out on a cardstock. It lasts much longer and it will hold up over time. Really, really like this one. The next DIY you're going to want a um, some adhesive letters, your choice, and then a picture frame, whatever you want, um, a glue gun, and then Mod Podge, and some paint of choice, and a paintbrush, and some twine, where you could use wire again, it's your choice. Start by taking the back off of your um, picture frame and here I just dipped my paintbrush into the paint and just did a more of like a light dry brushing on it so I could kind of cover it up and make it look a little bit more roughed up and farmhousey and then just take your um, the glass top and you're going to be gluing that into your frame so line it up on each side add that glue and then go ahead and press that in and let it dry Once you have that, I went ahead and just took some painter's tape to line up everything. That way I knew I had the exact measurement between each one and I lined up the middle. And here I decided to put farm to table, but I actually ended up switching that out later on because I didn't like the way it looked. I wanted it to be a little fuller. So depending on the size frame you have and the size letters, that is what you end up with. Go ahead and take some glue and glue on your string and you are done. It's simple, simple like that. And this one came out really cute. I love this. You guys will see both of these DIYs tomorrow in a Decorate With Me video. I am redecorating and revamping the house for summertime, so if you guys want to see that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed both these DIYs, and I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.